Hey guys and welcome back to another unboxing. Today um, it's a special one here and this is uh, one of the Hobbit miniatures. Now I'm not sure if I've actually unboxed a Hobbit miniature on this channel before but um, I saw the third um, Hobbit film at the weekend uh, on the Friday night and passing through uh, Games Workshop on Saturday I just had to pick up this model. Um, so yeah, this sect, um, the set comes with uh, Thorin Oakenshield, King Under the Mountain, and Bilbo. So let's have a look. Um, as you can see, this is what you get. So let's open him up and send him to the world. So after trying to get that open, <laughs> I've just cut it open off camera and got him out. And right, let's have a look. Obviously, first you first you get the normal two bases. And here we have Thorin Oakenshield and Bilbo. So let's have a look at some of the detail on this. Let's bring my light in a bit. So as you can see, the detail looks fantastic. This is such a gorgeous model. And you got the paint job there. I'm really looking forward to putting some paint on this model. And then, oh look at that. Look at that clip, sort of cave, cave type thing. That's just beautiful. With the hem of the fur and his sword. And the cast looks really good indeed. It's only very underneath where you get a bubble, so. But that's really good. And let's have a look at Bilbo. Wow, look at that. This model's tiny. But the detail on it is fantastic. Really can't can't fault it at all. Look at that foot. The tendons. Very nice indeed. So I'll get these built up and I'll see you in a second. And we're back. So <coughs> In front of you, we have the built versions of Thorin, King Under the Mountain, and Bilbo Baggins' Master Burglar. So, these are the models that this set comes with. As with all my blister packs like this, I chop them off so I can have that kind of painting reference. Um, but sometimes it gets used as a palette as well. Now, anything with a flat surface gets used as a palette in my house. <laughs> so, here are the two models. Uh, so let's first have a look at Bilbo. So this is the version of him in his Lake Town attire, in the blue coat. So if we just look over the detail now, you'll see there's some really nice detail. Sting is especially good in this because there was an issue with some of the last Bilbo models with uh, Bilbo's like the Sting size, um, the Gollum set, um, but this one has been perfectly done and I'm just really liking the detail on this model. The the fur inner li lining sorry, of the, of the coat seems to be really nice and you can actually see, if I zoom in, You can see the mithril coat, and now this is the first model that has shown 
and correct me if I'm wrong with this, but I've shown the mithril coat. So that's really cool, and it will be great to get some cool metallics on that. Uh, the head detail and the face, I'm quite impressed with. Uh, the hands are a nice scale, uh, and the feet are really delicate, so um, the connection points are going to be quite good on this. Well, make sure once it's stuck down, because they don't have a base rail anymore, most of these Hobbit models do not have a base rail. So that's Bilbo Baggins Master Burglar. However, <coughs> because I've got the Smaug model, it comes with this one. And I just wanted to show you, slash compare the detail on this. So you got that one there, and this one here. And because this is four drilled resin, um, everything's a bit crisper. Nice, smoother details. And there's absolutely no defects, which on this, there were a few little more bubbles underneath. Um, but nothing major so I'm really pleased with how this guy's turned out and next right we have and also this is a tiny little model um, I was comparing it to a, um, a previous Hobbit like sort of the Metal Merry or Pippin from the Fellowship set and he's actually a little bit smaller so I'm, I'm okay with that so we come round to Thorin, King Under the Mountain. So let's have a look at the detail on this fella. Okay. Just focus a second. There we go. Now, I want to say now that the detail on this model is absolutely amazing. Really nice. Really nice detail. Especially the cloth. Look at that. Flowing robes. And these actually have a bit of trimming in the cloth as well. So you've got lots of fur, the fur is perfectly detailed. The arm is really nicely done. And the trimming's great. Especially oh, I love all the armour in there. It's gonna be a great thing to paint. And um, but especially the face. This face replicates the character of Thorin perfectly. It just so good, such good detail. And if we compare him to the previous um, late, not late town, Goblin Town one, which it'll hard to focus on this because there we go. It's just it doesn't compare. This is so well done. And as far as scale goes as well, this one's chunkier. So as far as the dwarf, I much prefer this pose, scale, sculpt, obviously fine cast, but it's just so cool. Really impressed with this, absolutely fantastic. And I am sure that all the other, um, all the other dwarf company will be the same. Only a few little more bubbles on the inside, but I have seen somewhere they have been bad, but I have got a very good sculpt here. Um, however, I just want to compare from the Lord of the Rings range what a man size and a dwarf. It's one of my very old painting models. Um, and if we were to compare with an orc, we seem to notice now the scale. Compared to the new Hobbit models, great. Compared to the old models, slightly out, I think, because he's the same size as an orc. But I'm not too fussed about that. So, guys, if you like collecting or just into the dwarfs or Thorin's company, I'd be sure to pick up this model. You've got some of the best detail I've seen from a fine glass model um, in Thorin here. So thanks for watching guys, um, my next video is going to be Bulk unboxing, so I'll see you in that next video, so until then guys, happy hobbying, and a Merry Christmas as well.